Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 with Realism Overhaul. We are here with our Venus Surface Probe, well one of our Venus Surface Probes, and we're doing the mid-course adjustment with it. Mainly in this video I plan to try to land a Kerbal on the moon, this time picking up the contract for that because we have tested it before. And so we'll see how it goes this time. It'll be the same setup that we had before except we're not picking up the Kerbals from lunar orbit. We are not going to be using a rescuee in order to do the mission, but yeah, we will intend to do the mission, pick up the contract, take that risk, and see what happens. Of course, we already have some risk with these missions because we do have the uncrewed Venus landing contract and the uncrewed Mars landing contract, so this is sort of make or break time for our space agency and we'll see how it goes. We may have to change it around for comms when we get there, but this should be fine for now. Let's make sure we're pointed at the sun again. Okay, so we will now add the SOI change alarm. That's in 64 days. That'll give us enough time to do a moon mission for sure. And next up, the other one. Here we go for the correction. Okay, well, we're turning to face the sun, so it looks good enough for now. We'll do further corrections once we enter the SOI. So, adding that alarm, and we're all set. We can go ahead and try to do the moon landing mission with some trepidation. Let's go back to Space Center. Okay, well, we have this contract to pick up, and it says launch a new vessel. So I'm guessing that I can't launch the lander first then pick up the contract to make sure that the lander actually gets to the moon before we pick up the contract. I'm guessing we cannot do that. So, yeah. I'll just pick it up and we're just gonna proceed. Both craft have been built, that is the lander and the return vehicle. So... Well, we are committed now. Alright, we have the funds. If we fail, we fail very badly. Uh, of course, we do have some time. We could probably build another lander and a crew vehicle again. Uh, it's not like the Venus and Mars probes where the windows are such that we don't have enough time. And our build speed is probably good enough to get another one underway. But anyway, we have the Moon Lander 3 rolling out. Okay, so here we go with the lander. And we have a good relative inclination. Throttle up. SAS on. And we have no SAS. I guess that was how it was. Um, was it? Was it supposed to be that way? I guess we'll use Smart ASS and hope for the best. Once there's a Kerbal inside, it'll be fine. All right, ignition. And we'll go like that and lift off. Okay, we have all our engines. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. And continuing on. Okay, booster set. And continuing with the core. Core stage is out. Separation. <gasps> uh, we had a failure on one of the separation motors. Uh, fairing set. Uh, we seem to have a lot of explosions today. Um, that is weird. Is that supposed to happen? Hold on, let me, let me try another separation here. Okay, well, that didn't actually explode. But boy, were a lot of things more vigorous than I thought they would be. Hmm, um, <laughs> this is a problem. Can't revert or anything. Well, this is doomed. There's no way it can get to orbit or... Well... Yeah... Um... Maybe... Okay. Well, let's see. Uh... And the abort motors. Okay. It's prograde. We'll have to use all the motors. But first we have to stabilize. I'm gonna try igniting the engines to see if they can help. Uh, okay, no, no, this way. 
Okay, desperation time. Test light again. Test light messed up our last landing. Seems aimed to try to mess up this one too. We've got a lot of ignitions on these at least. So we'll have to get some fuel and a new transfer stage up to it basically. It looks like we can save it. Uh, there seems to be a bit of an imbalance or something. It's tough to maneuver it for some reason. It's constantly using some yaw. Like something's off. Okay, we've made orbit. It's not completely... Oh, uh, kill rotation doesn't seem to be kill, killing rotation, does it? What is this? Um, here, if I... I'm just seeing if the apoapsis and periapsis stop, but, I mean, why why did it start rot- It seems to be starting to rotate faster and faster, doesn't it? I think there's some crack in here. Let me go to the tracking station and come back to it. Is there, like, some sort of... Maybe I should have added SAS on it, but I didn't re realize that was going to be a requirement or anything. Well... Let's see, it stops... It, uh, no, you can just kill rotation here. Stop. Does that seem like kill rotation to you? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it's steady right now. I think. So, yeah. We'll just try and bring one of these tanks up with the stage below it that was supposed to transfer this and see if that helps. I mean, to see if that'll work out for us. So we're going to rendezvous that with this. But we'll have to build it first, of course, so that delays our mission. Okay, so really what we want here is as little of the extras as possible. We probably want some RCS ports, but We'll need a docking port. We will need a controller with SAS, I think would be a good idea. So, let's see. Early controllable core, I guess. Um, maybe we can get rid of these separatrons and just light these engines immediately. But I think we, I mean, one, one of the engines blew up. I didn't quite understand why. One of these definitely failed. I didn't understand why one of the engines blew up. Was that a separate failure or due to the first failure? Oh, these are sort of clipped in. That might be a problem. Let's uh, get some more height here. These little RCS blocks seem a little bit weak for what we're going to be doing, which is trying to dock. So I'm going to replace them. Got all the MLI layers on here. This got to be important since we are going to take some time to rendezvous. Well, 147 days is a long time, though. Okay, I'm gonna call this Moonlander Assist. But, can we get away with less... ...stuff? I guess it's not safe to do so. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to... I mean, that's only cutting it by a few days, down to 124 days. 755. We'll try and expedite this though. But I think we're going to be doing the Venus mission arrivals before we can actually finish building this. So we've had problems. Okay, so well, I suppose we'll have to do this. It's still a shorter amount of time than building the whole thing. Let's see. Well, let's put this on the build list. The original mission would have taken 207 days. That's not that much more, actually. The, ca the cabin is not that much more, but it's still something. Okay. Well, let's see if we can rush that a little bit. But I don't think we can cut it down to less than 60 days, so... Uh, rush about 24,000. Maybe it's better to just put some upgrade points in, though. 12 build points. 118 days. Well, that'll be between those two sets. 
Mm, I'll do another rush build bit. Okay, well, we are going to time warp to the Venus Surface Probe arrivals and really, really hope those work, because we can't take too much more of this nonsense. Okay, so here we are with the first arriving Venus Surface Probe, and we are going to do a minor correction because it looks like we're not going to have comms in our current trajectory here. And this doesn't do too much better, but I don't know, maybe for a little bit longer. You can see where Earth is over there. And so we're trying to move from this line here to that line there in the hope that that will give us comms for longer. But still, there's going to be a horizon issue. By the time we get to periapsis, we probably won't have comms unless some of the other satellites around help. And we can't really count on that right now. So we are going to do this correction. So bringing it into Venus SOI now. The next one will be in in one day, so we'll see. Uh... Yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot of time to fix things with that one if something goes wrong with this one. Well, there is Venus. And we've entered its SOI. So, ignition. Okay, well, I'll take that. And we'll hope the probe can get itself into the atmosphere and everything. For now, we'll go back to a sundown posture. Okay, I think the other probe is getting into Venus SOI, so I'm gonna plot something here. I'll plot a capture maneuver. But we certainly don't want to waste uh, wait to, in order to do the separation and everything. The capture maneuver will not take all our Delta V, it looks like, so we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so we'll just add that alarm and jump to the other probe and make sure it's coming in on the correct side or... I mean, it's not really the correct, correct side, but what can we do? We'll just do the best we can. Okay, looks like the correction is going to take a bit more with this one. But we should still be in good shape for capturing into orbit with the orbiter. Okay, correction. Ignition. Okay, and we'll reorient to the sun again. And I'll put a temporary maneuver for this one as well to capture. Since we're doing it ahead of periapsis, we need to do a bit of radial. And this one I've overdone a bit, I think. That seems to be okay for a start, so I'll add that alarm. And once we let go of the surface probe, it'll have more delta V than we see red here. So that is all good. Let's go back to the first one. Okay, proceeding with this one. We do have some communication lines available here. They all seem to be communicating back. So, who knows? We won't take any chances, though. Okay, well, I am going to let go of our surface probe and verify that everything is working okay with it. It's got its own antenna and everything. Ooh, well, that was a bit more violent than I needed. Okay, so... We want prograde or retrograde here. Okay, this is safe, and bringing our periapsis down. We could do a radial burn for that. I'll arm the two parachutes right now. Well, there is Venus. I'm going to try 85 here, and then we will learn how that goes and use that for the second one. Hopefully our heat shield acts like a heat shield. Okay, well that's good enough. Okay, now this fellow now has quite a lot of Delta V. And we can use that. And the earlier the better if we can. So yeah, that's a capture. Um, yep, I think that'll be good enough. We don't have a lot of electric charge on here so we better watch out for that. It's just the payload adapter 
that's controlling this and it's the only thing that has power. Okay, ignition. Okay, well, we will assume that that is good enough. We are certainly in orbit. Let's go back to the surface probe, the important bit. Okay, well, here we go. Here we go again. The not at all hospitable terrain of Venus. We still have comms. We've got the parachutes ready. Smart ASS is holding the way it's supposed to hold. And probably we'll we'll have comms through uh, that photon up there. That should be able to communicate back. Past a certain point, we won't have a direct line anymore. Okay, we are in the atmosphere of Venus. Things, as usual, happen pretty darn quickly. We are, in fact, slowing down. We have flame effects. G-forces. And about 13, 13 to 14 Gs there. Oh, it's uh, hitting higher. Ooh. Oh. Very high G-forces for prolonged periods of time. We are certainly coming down. We could aim higher. We didn't need that much of blader. <laughs> um, uh, okay. These might be like Jupiter entry configured heat shields actually. Which is fine, you know, Galileo happened. The probe. Alright, well, uh, we're in good shape for now, maybe? We even have comms. I don't need all that puffing. We could dump the fuel, but actually I want this to go down faster, not slower. It's gonna take a while here. Dumping the fuel would just make it go down slower. Well, this is turning out just as tortuous as I expected it would. Yep. We're going down at 15 meters per second only, 4x time warp, it's still a lot of seconds. They have some electric charge, maybe I can get some atmospheric science or something. Gravity scan can't be done right now, but we can do a temperature scan. Uh, atmospheric pressure scan. Just want to make sure the electric charge doesn't get lost. It looks fine. Gravity scan takes a chunk though, if I recall. Okay, well we got some science from the atmosphere, but that doesn't cover our contract, of course. That's just bonus. Okay, fizz warp again. Okay, we are getting some heating on the antenna here. Suddenly. Um, we're not too far away from the ground and everything. I mean, obviously, the surface is hot. This is Venus. But is it too hot for this antenna? That's not going to help the other thing either. I mean, the other probe. Uh, 3,000 meters. How bad is it going to get? At some point, we should have parachutes, even though we probably don't need them. Let me see. 2,000 meters. Okay. And they've been destroyed due to aero forces and heat. It might be more heat than aero forces. I don't know. So, yeah, we don't have parachutes. But we are only going 10 meters to 14 meters per second right now. We will see. And some nice detailed surface they've got here. 
I doubt the RCS can do anything, but since we don't have parachutes, maybe I'll try to use it to kill rotation. Oh, the sun. <laughs> That's the sun right there. I can barely see that. Okay, here we go. Let me just get that off. Uh, uh, okay, okay, we're, we're on the ground. It's fine. It's fine. Let's do some science. Okay, temperature scan, transmit. Gravity scan actually works here? I thought it was only like in space. Well, transmit. For everything blows up or something. It's taking some time. But we have fulfilled the contract. We've got another one coming in though. I mean, probably it'll hit a different biome anyway. But then again, this is Midlands, so there could be quite a lot of Midlands, but we'll see if it can hit some other biome, I don't know. Tough to say. It'll aim a little bit higher in the atmosphere in addition to coming in at a different time. Okay, an atmospheric pressure scan. So yes, we finally did this. We have tried many times to do a Venus surface probe. Now I'm gonna bring the next one in, but it takes so long to bring them through the atmosphere that I'm afraid I'm not gonna get through anything else. So we'll see if we can get some more science, but I don't think we're going to get to rescuing our lander in orbit of the Earth, you know, trying to get fuel to it and uh, stage to it in this episode, unfortunately. But we might as well get these things done. So, I mean, the other one's coming in and there's nothing else to do with it except for bring it down. So we'll do it. Okay, here we go. Same pattern. So even though it's going to go very complicated here, Separation. Okay. So just kill rotation, please. I think 90 should be fine. Let's try that. Okay. Then orientation, and then we'll jump back. Okay. Now I'll replot this thing's capture. All right. We will try that. It is a bit off from the other one. You can see there's sort of a difference there. Okay. Ignition. Okay, that should be good enough for the time being. Let's get back to our surface probe. And perhaps we can do some science here. Well, no, no, no. Alright, we've done the stuff in orbit already. Let's hope we hit something different. Right now we're over the Midlands though. So, right now, nothing is new. There's some occasional different things. There's some lowlands, but I get the feeling they didn't do much detail on the Venus biomes. There's probably more detail on the Eve biomes. Highlands, though. Lowlands, Midlands, and Highlands are probably all we can expect. We're close to the pole, though. I mean, you take a look at our coordinates there. It'd be nice if they toss in a polar biome, but it doesn't look like it. The camera's rotating as it would at the pole. Signal's pretty weak right now. Maybe we don't have communication support from something else. Oh, uh, well, it seems like we do. Still, with the photon. Okay, here come the G's. That's the first burst of G's, same about 13 to 14 G's, and then and then it goes up again after calming down. And off scale high. Well, it happened last time too, so. Okay, things have calmed down. And now the long wait. Seems like lowlands maybe though. I mean, we're not going to go horizontal very much, yeah, so we will get a different biome, lowlands. Well, one problem with going to the lowlands is that it's likely to be hotter, right? We started getting the temperature warning a little bit higher up. Not in absolute terms, not in these terms, but in the above ground terms, in the radar altitude terms, it's higher up. But I think it'll be alright still. Okay, we lost the parachutes again. No big surprise. 
I doubt kill rotation is going to help. Uh, we'll just let the RCS buff. We do have uh, communications still. So that's good. I don't think there's anything special in flight. Let's see. Ah, uh, well, over lowlands, I guess it is different. Just for the temperature scan. Okay, okay. Here we are. And doing the science. It is new science for a temperature scan. Gravity scan. Okay, atmospheric pressure. Very high number for that, I'm sure. Okay, so we've got all the science. And yes, unfortunately, the the long descent to the surface of Venus has taken a long time. And so I'll just call it here. Uh, the game certainly busted my enthusiasm by preventing me from landing on the moon as intended. But we'll get to that in the next video. We'll have this moon lander assist to try and boost the lander over to the moon successfully. We'll see if that works out. And if it does, we'll be able to launch the crew vehicle with our intended moon landing crew. And hopefully that will happen in the next video. So. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.